worked on is looking at uh, reflections. So in my previous two videos, I showed you guys how to find uh, the vertical and horizontal shifts of a graph given our function square root of x. And what we did to find you know, a vertical stretch was we did pretty much did a plus or minus c, plus being up c, c units, negative being down c units. And then we also looked at the horizontal, which was plus c means c units to the left, and negative c means c units to the right. And our pair graph, when no transformation happened, is our root function like this. So now another thing that you might encounter in your problems is when we have a negative sign, or our function being multiplied uh, by a, a negative one. So first time, let's say we have our function being multiplied by a negative f of x. So that's what we're gonna call a reflection. Now I'm gonna to try to tie some things together. If you remember when we added our function to c and negative, what happened was our y coordinates shifted up and down, right? Well, if we can kind of think and remember that the same thing is gonna happen now, when we multiply our function by negative one, the same thing happens. It's our y coordinates of our points in our function that are gonna get affected. So what happens when you multiply by negative one, it is now going to be a reflection of the x axis. Now let's say comma four two. Okay, this is the point for comma two. Jeez. So we know that point's on the graph. The square root of four is going to be, you know, two. We know that is on the graph. We got it. So I was going to say the negative now f of x. What's happening is it's going to now say, well, you're going to take the square root of f of x. So you're going to take the square root of four. But now we're going to be able to get telling you instead of just the positive, we're actually getting the negative value of my y. So what we're doing is, instead of up four, now we're going down two, or I'm sorry, instead of up two, now we're going down two. So it's still gonna be positive four, but, so, but now you're gonna have a negative two. So if you guys can remember, whenever you're multiplying a function by a negative one, it is your y values that change from positive to negative, therefore giving you a reflection about the x-axis. Let's throw some arrows in there too. So let's look at another one. So when is it a horizontal? Oh. Well, usually it's a horizontal reflection. When it's a reflection, of the y-axis. So this is when you have t of x equals negative f of x. And it's a reflection of the y-axis when we have our transformation is equal to our function of a negative x. Notice there's a difference. Here, we have our negative inside of the function. So it's actually it's, it's, um, changing actually our x values now. So if you look at this, if I was going to change now my x value to be a negative, my graph is now going to look like this. We're now going to go over negative 4, but I still go up 2. Maybe that will not too. So you guys know it's a reflection. So, um, and you guys can remember too, when you remember C, when we were dealing with uh, horizontal transformations, uh, what we notice is the c had to be within the function for it to shift left and right. Well, the same thing, when it's shifting left or right, it's, it's changing the x coordinates. And the same thing is true with this function. When you take a negative inside and take a negative of your x in within your function, what's happening is now that's gonna make your now x values um, negative. So that's gonna reflect it about your y-axis. So it's really important for you guys to understand the difference of these two functions because you are going to see when it's a negative fx or when it's a negative x. And a lot of times, um, too, like for y equals x squared, 
it doesn't really matter, um, you know, how you're, uh, well, uh, not x squared, I was thinking, but you're constant. Or, I'm sorry, your linear function. It doesn't really matter because they're both going to, the reflection is going to be exactly uh, you know, same. You're, it doesn't matter which way you, how you write it, you're still going to have the same reflection. So, that is an overview of how you're going to find your reflections.